Hello and welcome to the channel again and thank you for joining me and this is another user engagement with Ming Singh at the helm. He's been a long-term contributor and supporter of the channel so thank you very much for once again bringing me an absolute stunning replay. And he is sailing in the tier 9 USS, USA premium destroyer the Benham with its uber amount of torpedoes having eight both sides in dual four times launchers and they load really quickly it's definitely the ace up the sleeve with this american destroyer and it's a real life american destroyer she did actually exist which is also very very nice to have something which is was actually sailed and it's definitely the ace up the sleeve because it has so many and just to top it all off, he has got the matchmaking heaven. Obviously, the RNG gods were with him on this one. Because there is no radar on either teams and there's no CV in play. So he can pretty much torpedo at will. And sure enough, right on cue, that's the first two hits. And his torpedoes are almost up already. And he's ready to fire again. That goes to Kerfus, didn't really realise what hit him. And if you're sailing a battleship and there's lots of torpedoes in play, to get yourself up against that island is not a good idea at all. Because you are going to, you've boxed yourself in already. But in normal gameplay, with normal um, matchmaking, with radar, with extra DDs, etc. over on this side, that's a perfectly fine play because... You're hiding from the radar. You're, the radar will stop DDs from doing this. And it's fine. But this is not like this. This is probably gameplay you would have expected probably four to five years ago. As that is how long radar has definitely in the game. I couldn't find out exactly when radar was introduced. Most of the videos were at least four years old. And once again, those torpedoes are sent out. The gross surface is pulling back because that's all he can do. And yeah, yeah, they're, they're looking pretty good. Um, they're looking very, very good. Are you really going to pick up the first kill of the game? Oh, it's the first kill of your game, Ming Sing. With a battleship sailing in straight lines. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> Two already and only five. One ship down already and you've only been playing for less than five minutes. And boy, more torpedoes are out. So, I also have to apologize for the sound quality in this one. For some reason, I have got a bug with either the game sound or my own drivers. Where, particularly with small ships, I and mean, if I zoom out, you'll hear the engine sound coming from either speaker but when you're zoomed in like this, they're fine. I, I don't know if it's something my setup's causing or the game is causing. So I, I am sorry about that. Thankfully, that Leon's got a little bit more sense and has turned away. And more torpedoes are out because they reload very quickly. So the Benham, she's relative, I think, been introduced into the game in a very respectful way. So she was designed in 1930. Seven. She's a, she's a treaty destroyer, and because of her, de and she was designed with this many torpedoes as well. Because at that time, oh, I'm gonna have to stop pause there. We have a DD that's decided to come around, and that brings you on to the next point. That means she's got treaty style guns, so she does have fewer guns than her brethren at this tier than the Fletcher. There's one less, and they're not as good. They're sort of tier seven, tier eight style guns. More than adequate for, you know, close combat and surprise, but certainly not her main armament. The torpedoes are definitely her main armament. Oh, couldn't bet, couldn't beat that time if I tried. And also her health pool for her brethren, tier nine, is a bit lower. But that is actually true in real life. She had, because um, again, I think she was a treaty destroyer, so designed around the time. So she had a, a gross tonnage of 1,500 tons. And when you look at the Fletcher, the Sims, the um, others at this tier, 
they were almost 1,600, 1,700 tons gross weight. So she shouldn't have the same amount of um, health pull, and she doesn't. So I think she's been introduced really well into the game in terms of her historical significance and also her historical um, and how it's portrayed in the game. So very well done, Wargaming there. We are trying to chase down this destroyer at the moment, and that's very fair because he's got a friendly DD to his right just across the past the headland and also being backed up by a battleship doing very so that's excellent and um, so he can push and see where this DD is now if this DD's got any sense being chased down by at least two is to bug out has he got a sense semi sense he tried to use his own smoke screen to then probably get some torpedoes off against the battleship and has been caught because now Ming Sing is using his smoke screen from the enemy destroyer and who's going to get the kill? Come on. Well done, Ming Sing. And some enemy torps have been spotted coming from A point. I wonder if, if friendly battleships are also awake during this game. Because clearly the enemy ones aren't. Um, so he needs to push back into A point now to recap it for his team. There's no need to go chasing down that cruiser. But he spotted those torps. Hopefully the battleship... Never mind. Moving swiftly on. <laughs> Clearly, it's a day of ships just sailing in straight lines. Oh, well, all the moors for good old Ming Sing to sink a number of ships, hey? And he's pulling up into a cap, which was capped most likely by the Ostilagand there. He was getting absolutely hammered by some friendlies, but he is now opening up. So, yep, yeah, the guns aren't great. Yes, the projectiles aren't brilliant. I, I do have the lofty shells, but when nobody's targeting you, these are free hits, free damage, and some free fires. So why the hell not? Lost obviously knows he's being targeted and he's ducking, dodging, and diving and weaving. He's still getting some hits here, maintaining. Come on, maintaining. Ah, also going to have to take out the uh, friendly cruiser there. But, oh, oh, some more shells coming in. Oh, he literally zigging and zagging that, Osiogran. Doing very, very well. Come on. Come on, guys. Just zooming out just to check if he's still not spotted. He's not spotted, so he can just fire. Who's going to get the kill? Who's going to get the kill? Oh, these shells might do it. Yes, they do. Beautiful. Bringing up your third kill of the game and a solo cap award to boot, but you can't hang around. There's another enemy destroyer there, the Fletcher, the tier 9 American tier ship, non premium. And quite rightly, you're not following into the gap because most likely there'll be torps coming that way. And yeah, this gun power is markedly better than your own, Ming Sing. It's coming around. He's hoping that you again get his torps into play, but that DD looks like he's got a bit more brain cells than the average battleship player in this match and has turned back. He's not actually targeting him, so we don't know the predicted route. Oh, there's a the friend enemy torps. Turns away. Fires are set. Might as well just protect the gap. But he decides to leave and doesn't really need it to be honest. Because that guy's getting a crossfire, and last thing you want to go is getting a crossfire. Nicely done, Ming Sing. Well, well played. And it's the rune that's decided to pull uh, back there. That was, I don't think the same as that battleship. No, it wasn't. So, well, the got a little bit of time. So let's talk a little bit about the history of the Benham. Obviously, I have mentioned a bit of her characteristics and how Wargaming have introduced them to the game. So... She was based off the Grindley class, which was a 1930s style destroyer. And she ended up having this eight torpedo armament. The Benham herself was sadly sunk at the Guadalcanal incident um, when she hit a torpedo. And that's the Beiji. The Banji? Beiji? Oh, how are we going to say it? Now, another battleship that's pulling right in. One of this guy is asleep as much as everybody else. We shall see, I'm sure. Um, but like most things, the Torps were decided that they were not the most preferable armament for these DDs. And quite rightly, the three of the class were converted, were operating in the North Atlantic. And the two rear torpedo tubes were 
um, removed so to increase her in AA and depth charges, which was far more useful when there's U-boats kicking around. And likewise, the three other remaining classes, which were in ships in the class, which were operating in the Pacific, also had the same changes. But when you're in the 1930s, you just don't know. By 1945, it's clear that the aircraft is king and torpedoes are less so. Unless you play World of Warships and... Oh, another one. Just one mean thing? You're slipping, my friend. But torpedoes are out from the other side. And yeah, pulls a bit of a Notzer. Although I must admit, Notzers are becoming less rare from Notzer. So uh, I don't know if you're going to still keep that monocle. Maybe we should um, turn it into hashtag Blame Renzo. Um, <laughs> another very, very talented streamer. And I should recommend you check him out. Um, so he just gets out of detection radius and oh man They're looking very very tasty two three four oh, Sadly no cigar Ming Sing and I am um, praise your uh, Trigger finger there. I would so have shot my guns to finish that guy off and most likely get slaughtered in the process but 141,000 points of damage. And, yep. Those torps are looking pretty tasty. That's Kraken. That's 148,000 damage. Wow. Just wow. Fantastic play. Fantastic timing. And also fantastic, um, yeah, trigger finger abilities. Now there's the rune. The, I can see Oscillogand there. Now the rune does have Hydro. So this might not be as easy as the battleships that happened. And you've got to have to work out if the Ostegrand has actually been detected and um, running it. Because they must know that DD's kicking around. I mean, there's only three DDs left. Um, and that's all on his um, uh, Ming Sing side. Oh, this land's torpedoes are looking good. And he has ducked those. So, but it has made him forced to go straight. The rune is turning in. The rune is turning in. There is a gap there. Is he going to make the gap? Is he going to make that gap? He's turned. Uh, one. And no. He doesn't. That's six kills to the name of Ming Sing. Very, very well played there. Very, very well played. You've got the Brindisi and the Soyuz. Soviet Soyuz. Sorry. Russian battleship left. So, are you really going to make it out? Are you really going to take eight kills home with you on this match? I've only ever managed seven in the Edinburgh. And I do... No, you can't make eight because the Magia has taken out the Brindisi. So, okay. So, just one left. Just one left. Ooh. And he's already got two kills to his name. So, he's no fool, that man. No fool. So, once again, Ming Sing, thank you very much for your continued support of the channel. Um, you've appeared, I think, three times in my videos now. And if you have also got a replay, anybody's got a replay, the link's in the description below. Email it to me, Facebook, message me, or just drop me a message in game. My EU name is PSLAC83. So, one more to go. Who's pushing out a B because I think he just wants to survive, to be honest. And he's being reset anyway, so there's no point in him hanging around. So he might as well try and regroup. It's turning in. Ming Sing has not got him targeted, so he doesn't know... Which is good in one way, he doesn't know if these are coming. And hasn't been targeted. Another one. Oh, Yep, two sets. When you've got four sets of torpedoes like this, it doesn't really matter if you are or aren't targeting him. Because it doesn't matter and make a mistake. Oh. That's another 12,000. He's damage repairing. Can you break the 200,000 points damage mark? That'll be epic if you can. 15,000? Ooh, it's getting close. These take them out. It may well do. Judging the timing perfectly, torpedoes are on their way. Will this guy keep sailing in straight lines? Will he? Come on. Let's see. Wait and find out. Yes, there's the high caliber. Yes, he's done it. Seven kills. 183,000 points of damage. Let's go to the results screen.
and what a result scoring 180,000 point damage we've already said 7 kills 18 torpedo hits solo cap couple of spots fantastic well played Ming Sing and thank you once again for sending your replay through and all because there wasn't a single bit of radar apart from the Missouri on the enemy side if you have a replay send it through hope you enjoy this folks and I'll see you all on the next one goodbye